we're sticking in Word and we're talking about indents. Uh, specifically, I want to talk about your ruler and these little triangles that everyone seems to get hung up on and they don't seem to ever do what the person wants it to do. I'm going to explain what these triangles are. So the first thing I'm going to do is just click into a paragraph. And that is important because these settings apply to a paragraph. So as an example, if I wanted to indent the first line of this paragraph, what you would need is you need to start off by activating your ruler if you don't have your ruler on your screen. And you do that by going to the view tab and putting a check mark in ruler. Once you have your ruler, you're going to have these little triangles, a little box, and another triangle over here. And these are your indents, and here's how they work. The triangle along the top is your first line indent. So if I click into a paragraph and I wanted to indent the first line, let's say, half an inch in this case, I'm just going to click and hold on that top triangle, drag it over to the half inch mark, and you can see as you drag it, it automatically indented the first line. We could do that to multiple paragraphs if we wanted to. We would just need to highlight them or select them. I simply drag it over, it indents the first line. So that's the first mystery solved. The top triangle indents your first line. The bottom triangle indents everything except for your first line. And you actually see this a lot when you deal with your numbered lists because it creates what is called a hanging indent. So if I'm clicked into a paragraph and I get my bottom triangle and I drag it, here's the first thing you're going to notice. When you drag it, that bottom square comes with it and that is completely normal. They cannot be separated. They are connected for life, okay? So if I drag it over and you let go, you can see that it's indented everything except for the first line. So it can be really handy to use these hanging indents in a variety of situations if I wanted a different customized spacing on my numbered lists or even for my paragraphs.